You may have heard us talk about Bitcoin's power law all the time on this channel and you might be wondering why it is so important. After all, there are a multitude of complex systems that follow certain mathematical relationships. Well, there are two possible approaches to answering this question. The first one is obvious. Most investors and traders could only dream of a system that has the ability to project the price action of an asset years into the future. After all, this is probably the reason why most of you are watching this video. The second reason is scientific curiosity. This is the force that drives people to make new discoveries for the benefit of humanity all around the world. The great thing about Bitcoin is that it has the potential to greatly benefit and democratize the financial system. Since Bitcoin's adoption and price are highly correlated to each other, understanding Bitcoin's power law can also give us an understanding of Bitcoin's road to mass adoption. Firstly, there are different ways of visualizing Bitcoin's price action. The most common chart that everyone has seen is the linear chart. This shows Bitcoin's price action as it is in terms of a particular fiat currency and time. The more Bitcoin savvy investors of you may have enabled the log option on your trading view charts. This produces a log linear chart where Bitcoin's price action is squeezed together by orders of magnitude such as 10, 100 and 1000 to better visualize its historical price action. However, we can make this chart even more useful by applying a log function to time as well. This is not random because we know that price changes of an asset become less volatile as its market capitalization grows. Furthermore, we can apply linear regression to draw a line through the data and derive parameters. Now that we can observe the straight line on the log log chart, we can clearly see the significance and accuracy of the power law. A power law is a functional relationship in which a relative change in one quantity gives rise to a proportional relative change in the other quantity, independent of the initial size of those quantities. In Bitcoin's case, the two quantities are price and time. Power laws have been observed in various complex naturally occurring phenomena, indicating that the growth of Bitcoin's price behaves in a very organic manner. Let's explore some other examples. In 1609, Kepler published his two laws about planetary motion, after struggling to find the mathematical equations for this. Power laws were a new discovery during Kepler's lifetime and he was able to apply them to crack the code of orbital motion. Kepler's third law is an elegant example of a power law between the period of an orbiting body and its average distance to the object it orbits. Even comets, such as the Halley's Comet, obey Kepler's law, and from its period one can calculate the average distance of Halley's Comet from the Sun. Biology is another great example of power laws. British theoretical physicist Geoffrey West explains that there is actually great order in the seeming chaotic complexity of the natural world. For example, if you look at the metabolic rate as a function of the size of an animal and plot it logarithmically, a great simplicity emerges because the different points follow a straight line, instead of being all over the place. What this means is that when you double the size of an animal, instead of the animal needing twice as much energy as one might think at first, it only needs 75% more calories. And this works every time you double the size of an animal. Power laws can even be used to predict the number of certain words in a book, or the growth of cities, corporations, road networks, the GDP of countries, etc. This means that they are a naturally occurring phenomenon outside the conscious control of anybody. Now back to Bitcoin. If this hypothesis of Bitcoin following a power law is true, our predictions will also continue to be true because power law systems are stable due to them being scale invariant. Another way of putting it is that the system is anti-fragile and resistant to forces attempting to pull it away from its path. The anti-fragility of the system gives us confidence in our predictive power. In fact, as the system, which in this case is Bitcoin, gets bigger, it is even more difficult to change. We could even say that Bitcoin is starting to act like a big organism. When the internal balance of an organism is threatened, a self-regulating process is initiated by which it can maintain internal stability while adjusting to changing external conditions. This process is called homeostasis, and there are countless examples of such mechanisms occurring inside organisms, from the regulation of the balance between alkalinity and acidity inside one's body 
to sweating in order to avoid overheating. Bitcoin seems to behave in exactly the same fashion. When its bubbles become too unsustainable, a convenient event such as the collapse of Mount Cox always ensues to restore Bitcoin back to its average value, according to the power law. The same is true for when Bitcoin reaches seemingly catastrophic lows and all hope for Bitcoin is lost. Like a rubber band that snaps back to its original length when stretched, so too does Bitcoin when it returns to its median value. The next important aspect of Bitcoin's power law is time. How successful a Bitcoin investor is seems to be directly related to the investor's time preference. Time preference refers to the degree to which an investor values present versus future consumption. Investors with a higher time preference may prioritize immediate gains over long-term investments, while an investor with a lower time preference may be more patient and willing to wait for long-term gains. The famous cookie experiment is a great example of high versus low time preference. When children were presented with a cookie and were given the option to delay eating the cookie in order to receive two cookies later on, the children who were willing to wait while salivating over the deliciousness of the cookie right in front of them were also found to be more successful on average later on in their lives. Legendary investor and author Saifedean Amous outlines this in his book The Bitcoin Standard where he also points out the fact that Bitcoin investors with a long-term horizon seem to outperform short-term speculators. Therefore, we could say that Bitcoin itself is a great example of the cookie experiment playing out in real time. Finally, it is important to note that while power laws are quite commonly occurring phenomena in nature, not all financial assets follow it so perfectly. In fact, there is no other asset like Bitcoin that follows it as precisely, not even close. This precision could possibly be related to the fact that Bitcoin's adoption and price are correlated to each other, and unlike most assets, it behaves more like a naturally evolving organism. Therefore, we are extraordinarily lucky to have an asset like Bitcoin, and it truly seems to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to ride its ever-oscillating waves around its straight log-log path to a million dollars and beyond. This is Saveria from Quantanomy speaking, and thanks for watching.